All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I actually went to bed earlier, but the problem is I still woke up at like the middle of the night to go like to the bathroom, right? And then I, I had so much energy. It's kind of like Trump, right? He just he just can't wait to wake up in the morning because he's so full of energy. And I was like, oh, you want to go back to sleep? So it's like, oh, uh. so I wound up an hour and forty five minutes. Uh, just lying in my bed trying to go back to sleep and then I got woken up at, you know, 9.40 a.m. by the alarm. So it's like, oh, I didn't get the full night's rest. So it might be a little groggy, but, you know, on the other hand, it's my physical day off and, you know, I'm feeling okay. So, but I did get something out of it, right? I actually figured out, uh, I had more clarity on why, um, I don't want to keep mentioning the person's name because I don't want to keep making this piece of shit more famous than he deserves. But I think if, for those of you who have been watching for a while, um, I think you know who I'm referring to. And I actually now realize why I just don't like this person so much, right? And why I always call them a duplicitous F-word, a.k.a. A, a big liar. And yeah, I now understand it, right? It's because they read, all these so-called fake Christians read the scripture, they understand it, they quote it a lot. And then when it actually comes time to actually do it, they fail, uh, you know, and this particular individual is a networking F word where he doesn't really create any value, but he uh, generates quote unquote value by knowing a bunch of other people, right? So he'll stick his fucking name in all these places. Uh, so we like, oh, this person, that person. Yeah. But it turns out he doesn't actually contribute to anything. He's just, a, he's just a fucking parasite. And, you know, long story short, you know, and on top of that, when he meets someone that doesn't, he perceives as no value, he just treats you like shit, because that's exactly what he did to me. My first mistake should have been, my, oh, my second mistake was thinking I could trust this person and, like, ask him, okay, well, you know, I want to contribute, what can I do? That was my second mistake. I should, I should have, I should have realized that there was something wrong with this guy, because I followed him on Twitter after I met him at the Night for Freedom, but he didn't follow me back. That was my first mistake. My first mistake should have been to realize it's been two, three weeks. He hasn't followed me back. And if I really want to be sure, I can like and retweet his stuff. See, just to see if he would even refollow me, right? I, I, I think like maybe one time he retweeted something from me. And somehow that's supposed to make up for a lot. It just goes to show that there was a big gap in his perception of value. And it's just like... Okay, you're, you're, you're no Mike Cernovich, though you think you are, so it's like, okay. And then I also know from previous behavior that he tends to also just be an asshole towards other people and then become friends with them later. I don't need somebody that, that's a passive-aggressive F-word like that. Like, technically, that's supposed to be what women do. But I know a lot of women that don't actually do that. Uh, actually, nowadays, it's because of the whole feminazi movement. They act more like men, and they just tell you bluntly to your face, like, yeah, you're, you're an F-word kind of thing. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> so again, just like my investing advice, like I'm giving you now, which hopefully you're learning for free. Uh, yeah, you know, networking advice, I guess. All right. I never had a good perception of networking and this is exactly the reason why, because you're not able to call anybody out when the time comes, you know, you put your ego and reputation above God. All right. Instead of God in the truth. And so and oftentimes when you put God into truth first, you don't have the luxury of think of caring what other people think about you. So you cannot build a foundation based on that. And the networking F word, because <clears throat> I can't say the word, is not um, <clears throat> is the complete opposite of that, because if you're running around telling people the truth, you're going to have to call out the people that you're networking with. Then they're going to hate you. Right as a reaction, and they're going to stop networking with you. And then pretty soon, nobody wants to network with you. So you're kind of bogged. And, you know, it's like, yeah, now now I don't like it. I don't actually like it, right? Uh, um, so why not create your own little network if you want your network, right? Build people up and then stick with them. <coughs> but don't treat people like objects. You know, I always hear this shit, don't treat women like objects, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like so sick and tired of hearing that dumb shit. Right. You know, it's uh, how about you just treat everybody with some respect? Of course, an exception to that might be people who are deliberately trying to screw over Western society. You know, that's a little different because it's, you know, we're at war with these people. Right. So 
you know, it's like, you know, win at any cost. Once we do become uh, winners, though, we should be gracious, unlike the shit lib far left. Uh, but, you know, uh, we'll worry about that later. So anyway, I mean, I, I created a whole quest line. I, instead of writing out the whole dialogue, because like, I was groggy, I was like, you know, I kind of want to go back to sleep because I was typing it on my laptop. Ugh, excuse me, because I don't want to wait on my big ass computer to turn itself on, which it turns on really quick. It takes like 45 seconds to boot because it's a super fast computer with a super good uh, SSD drive. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I got a little bit of phlegm. Like, whatever I was coming down with was very mild, but now I guess the phlegm is just now being, you know, kicked out. And, um,. Yeah, I wrote, a, I, I wrote a whole quest line I called Networking is for Losers, and um, uh, whatchamacallit, let me see. Uh, I guess I could read out a little bit of the story. Let's see. I never liked networking, as in that's the guy you work for, which would be me, right? Because obviously I play myself. And then you as the player character, I just write the word you. That is no secret. And then I say, you ever wondered why? And then let's see, I wrote, I talk about how America is being over leveraged in some senses. And it's like networking. You build, build a foundation based on people liking you and not speaking the truth and creating value. Hard to call out problems when you rely on others liking you. Uh, let's see. Oh, this part. I, yeah, this one is pretty important. Fruit is both tasty and beautiful. It comes from unremarkably ugly dirt and plants and hard work. Networking just focuses on the fruit and not the person underneath. Lyle hates it. Uh, well, I mean, it's a pretty generic first name. So, yeah. That's what that's the character I named myself. Lyle wants people to appreciate the dirt more than the fruit itself, right? Because, you know, that's, that's how you tell a good story, right? You gotta learn to appreciate the shitty people. Uh, in fact, when I, uh, my family member came by the, uh, the other day <clears throat> to drop something off, he actually told me that the homeless people in San Francisco don't seem to get coronavirus, which I'm like, what? <laughs> like, because they because they already live in so much filth. Apparently, they've already developed some kind of very strong immunity against it. It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> like, we truly live. I mean, assuming he's right, uh, we truly live in a bizarre clown world. It, it, it's really hilarious. Reputation is still good, but can't be your god, just like everything else. It's ego-driven, and that's an evil deception that's contributed to many a ruin. And I guess I, guess I borrowed that little last phrase from House of Rising Sun. Uh, let's see. And then I... Okay, I don't want to say this because this might... Yeah, I don't want people stealing it. No, I mean, yeah. But basically, uh, I, I spell out the quest name. That's probably the reason why, because I'm actually going to... Because some of this stuff can be copyright, other stuff cannot, so... Because <clears throat> you can copyright dialogue and your treatment for your story, but you cannot actually copyright a story itself. Stories are actually... Uh, you cannot copyright it. So, for example, if I really wanted to, I could actually steal the story for Star Wars. I just cannot copy their dialogue. I cannot copy their graphics, obviously, their look. Uh, but the story of a rebellion versus an empire is uh, actually not you can't you cannot get rid of that. So that's why um, my story is pretty much the same, except the difference is it's America versus this fictional galactic evil empire. So yeah. Oh, and well, did I ever mention? Yeah, I guess I could mention it too. Um, <clears throat> and in this universe, uh, any mention of America is illegal, kind of like. Uh, how you're basically not allowed to talk about Nazis, Nazis, or however they always like to spam that, right? So America has been branded a Nazi country, essentially, and then we're all pretty angry about that. And then we, we, we finally decide it's time to just say, you know, fuck everybody, you know? <clears throat> so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, and yes, I actually, uh, re I actually bought the... Uh, I think I might have mentioned this before, but... Uh, but I'll, I'll mention it. Yeah, here we go. The Anatomy of Story. Uh, this I took this guy's course. John Truby. I always sometimes forget his name. So I took his actual seminar course year, several years ago when I was writing this. I did it while I was take, writing, uh, doing my movie, Underdogs. And <clears throat> whatchamacallit. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. 
It was really good, but the problem was so dense I couldn't remember anything. So then, this is basically like the written version, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, but I might consider buying his Blockbuster software. So I could, like basically, like when you're screenwriting, you're supposed to put everything on cards. His software just digitizes the whole thing. Me personally, I don't use those, but I might consider using his thing because his software specifically is like, hey, you forgot this component. Here's this component. You're trying to create this genre. Make sure you know it all works out, and then put in your plot twist here, or something like that. It's very for he formalizes create that formalizes formulates for you your creative vision that's unique that's why i, ne I never i personally never had problems with formulas and of course this guy trained uh jonathan nolan the guy who created the dark knight who wrote the dark knight series right and then of course we know his famous brother christopher nolan right the famous uh, inception director so i believe they're brothers they're obviously definitely related but i'm pretty sure they're brothers all right jonathan nolan took this guy's fucking class all right so if it's good enough for like a multi deca billionaire franchise, right? Because of the qualities. Because to this day, like when you ask me what are my all time favorite movies, if I had to pick one, depending on my age, if I were young, Star Wars, the original trilogy, of course, and number two, the Dark Knight trilogy, right? Specifically with the Dark Knight at the fucking top, right? It, 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 it's uh... <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna get this guy. So I I I have to, so I bought the book. So this is gonna help me really with this with a lot of the story. At least it should be enough for the game. <clears throat> and then depending on how comfortable and much time and skill I have, I can then uh, you know maybe hire like some high quality uh, actors, writers maybe actors too, but writers to especially you know help me with writing a really good story. Ah, the bad habit. I want to scratch my nose? You use this. All right. Anyway, uh, so I get back. Uh, fortunately, Horson really likes Valorant, and now I just kind of got over it. So, uh, oh well. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is thirteen, so it's still kind of out there, but not too much. Again, it's kind of interesting. It's worldwide interest versus the institutional in uh, investors. Never really, I never really expected the rich to dump their crypto. <clears throat> Well, they're going to regret it, which is good, because that means the people get rich and not the already rich, right? Uh, Bitcoin dominance is at 64%. 24 of them is 127.6 billion. Although, to be fair, maybe the rich are over-levered in their positions as well, since we just talked about over-leveraging or over-levered is another way of saying it. Like maybe they had to dump their crypto because they needed cash during the crash, uh, during the coronavirus crap. You never know. Uh, Bitcoin is still 7300 bucks. It looks like it might be going straight up again. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, Litecoin, also same thing. I'm not sure, but it's a little under 46 bucks. Um, you know what? I'm getting a little suspicious. Let me refresh this one more time. Uh, yeah, I thought there was something wrong. Uh, or maybe it just happened to change. Yeah, this isn't too far. I was only off like 30 bucks. But yeah, it looks like, okay, so Bitcoin's actually at 39.20. It looks like it is going up. Litecoin is also going up 46.31. So this is a pretty good sign. So across the board, it looks like everybody's getting ready to go up. Uh, let me refresh. Oh, good. You can't see. Ah, God, let's refresh this. So it looks like today is also another update for the stock market. So, all right. Uh, dog coins at 249.6 million. Uh, Steam is at 17.19 cents. Um, Hive. God, this thing is so annoying. Uh, oh, wow. Hive is actually declining. I'm kind of curious. Why is Hive going down? Uh, are people quitting... Uh, because it doesn't seem like they have... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't seem like Hive is having any uh, problems. Hive... Uh, yeah, it'll be this one. That's actually pretty impressive. It's already the third result when you type in Hive. Uh, do, 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 do. Bitcoin... No, uh, let's see. What have they been... This The last time they've been tweeting anything was like seven, eight days ago. Well, they're actually retweeting people. Uh, um, 
Is this the correct? This is not the right one. Uh, Hive.io. Maybe it is the right one. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, I thought so. It's Hive Blocks. What the hell? Uh, yeah, because I also didn't see at least one person that I know following it. Um, cheese balls. Here we go. Censorship research and content sharing model where creators own their work are vital for free press. Three speed uh, various share D app on high provide a YouTube alternative that just a stack. Creators like blockchain you doesn't have to fear losing their work. But but YouTube we purely said they will be slow they were quick to ban. In the meantime, we'll be posting more on block. Yeah, sure. I, uh, do I really want to promote this? Because their thing keeps going down in value. Um but I mean, it's set, yeah, fuck it. You know what? Whatever. I don't care for shit. After countless complaints made by made daily in the Hive Telegram, we want to address claims by buying customers. Everybody's not waiting on Hive to release their fund. They locked up to their unit. They probably in the Steam hostel takeover. Okay. We have said customer support. Maybe we started to cover these later. Uh, angry buyer. We have reached out. What do you guys think? Okay. Hive is. Hmm. Okay. Well, the, fundamentally, it doesn't look like anything's wrong. So I guess people just don't want to, whatever, um, just buy that up. All right. Well, I guess I'll buy be buying some high for a lot cheaper, but I might have to be a little careful because Steam might still be worth something. Well, I think it's the good news is I mean, Steam is probably worth something. Oh, well, I'll have to decide. I mean, I'll probably just continue buying up high, to be honest, because it's nice and cheap and it's basically the same thing. All right, so markets are up significantly. Rumble is kicking ass as usual, so that's good. Uh, RF is already on its way back to fifteen, sixteen dollars a share, and of course Microsoft, whatever. AMZA is back. See, I really wish they didn't do the fucking reverse stocks, but I would be making some money off the covered calls on fucking AMZA right now. Oh well. Thank God Dre made a one eighty degree to current. Oh, Anthony F word. Mucci, yeah, he, he he has no credibility with me. Not only did he unfollow me, when he followed and unfollowed everyone back, and I had to wind up doing the same shit, he at least didn't consider me worth anything, despite who followed me back, right? Um, so, you know, he wants to be a piece of shit. He's basically one of those networking losers uh, that I talked about. And uh, I think going forward, I'm definitely going to make sure that I, I'm on, I am, I'm going to be like, uh, I'm, I got to be careful how I say this, but I'm definitely going to be like certain types of hunters and we're going to be, and I'm going to like hunt down certain types of like bad people, right? Because, you know, because uh, I don't want these pieces of shit being on the front page of anything that I read, all right? Because they're going to be influencing people in the wrong way. And I don't like that. And then therefore continuing their little scam. It's actually not little, but, you know, you get the picture. All right, so let's see. First and foremost, Rebel has been skyrocketing, uh, 346 a share. So, yeah, so my, my stock market account should be worth a pretty penny. Um, at the very least, I'll get my money back, but I think it'll be worth I tweeted this out. No, I actually wrote it in the description. I should My stock market account, when this is all set and done, should be worth, again, about eighty five to 110000 I think. Um, let's see. I mean, considering how little money I put into Remo, uh, let's see. I think I, I think we can use the real numbers. Let's see, twenty three eighty three shares times. It was originally worth around twenty seven dollars. Oh my god! Well, you just can't. oh my god! Look, look how it's loading this number. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, fuck off. <clears throat> all right, so six thousand. All right, so my Remel position will then be worth sixty four thousand three forty one, and then I'm going to get the fat dividends from it. So I'll be getting more than this. And then I got my Microsoft position. I only own thirty five shares, uh, so whatever that comes out to. And then I have AMZA. Now I have fifty shares. I need a hundred shares to do covered calls. So those pieces of shit. Um, after AMZA, and then. Uh, RF. Do I want to reveal that? No, I'm not going to reveal that. But yeah, so I'll actually be in a much better financial position. I would be. I would actually be worth half a million to one point two million dollars had I done nothing and then put in the same fifty five thousand dollars into the stock market. 
<sighs> and then half and then half of it will go into RF, right? The stable play, and then the other half will go into Rebel. And then yeah. Well actually I probably would put I probably would have overweighted 30, 35 grand into Rebel, but <sighs> what are you gonna do, right? But you know, I I'm taking advantage as best as I can, so you know. Uh, and the coronavirus hit, so you know, next time around, you know, I'll be a multi-millionaire, and then we're gonna have real big boy uh, money. And hopefully, uh, the few of you that are smart enough to actually listen to me, and which is all of you, because uh, <clears throat> not a lot of people watch my shit, right? and occasionally some people just drop off for some reason because they're retarded. So, all right, you know, it's like, all right, we'll get rich, and you know, you'll be left behind. You know, and it's not gonna be anybody's fault except your own. You know. And personally, I find that irritating because, you know, you spent a lot of time watching my shit and then you just decide, you know, what? I, I just don't care anymore. It's like, then what was the point, dude? All right. Uh, so everything's rising because of this Fed stimulus. Uh, so the reason why I'm not too worried about the April rent and the people not paying rent thing is because everybody in charge is run by smart people, at least when it comes to money. And Donald Trump, of all people, knows real estate like the back of his hand because obviously he's a real estate guy so he understands this exact same thing plus all his real estate friends are constantly berating trump well not berating but telling trump hey donald you've been doing this for decades you know what's going to happen we're all going to get fucking killed you know your trump organization is going to fall for bankruptcy your hot wife malaya is going to leave you and your kids will be begging on the streets rotting in jail because they don't have money to pay the fucking um trump haters they're going to put all of you in prison like can you do this? <laughs> and Trump's like, hey, you, you had me at, you had me at, you know, when you walked into the room, all right? That, that's going to be Trump's response. So, you know, and, and we're seeing that now. So let's, let's find out what the details of this is. Um, actually, maybe we'll make that the main story. Let's get through the prices real fast. Six to seven for GMC coin, 404 coin, six to seven. A quick note about it is we're going to go ahead with the swap. Um, but still gonna be some time, right? We gotta wait for coronavirus to settle down. I gotta build up some funds. I'm gonna try and see if we can go with the free option and Crex will be okay with that. That way I can save some money. Uh, but we're definitely going to destroy the supply for 404 coin and lower the APR. Uh, I forgot that I already came up with the APR scheme for it, but uh, the first 75,000 blocks is 404%, then block, 75,001 to 150k. Uh, I forget what I dropped it to, but it drops to like 104.4% or something like that, just to try to keep with the 404 thing. And then uh, the final APR is 40.4% after block 151k. So there'll be a little bit of hyperinflation and it'll slow down significantly. So basically, it's going to take the place of GMC coin, right? But it'll be a very valuable, stable coin. Right, so I could probably use this for uh, crypto. JMC coin, if the 404 coin swap goes well, which it should, we're going to also do the same with JMC coin. Um, and like Rather than just increase the APR, we're just going to upgrade it to the new uh, QT5 uh, uh, code base. So it'll be a lot better, and hopefully uh, we won't have any of these lag problems too. Because when I use my 2x2 coin wallet, that also runs basically the same shit as you know JMC and 404. I cannot stand the lag. It is so irritating. So we need to we need a better we 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 just need to upgrade the thing. I'm still trying to figure out what the JMC coin swap's gonna look like. We're definitely gonna destroy all the supplies best we can. Uh the APR, that's what I'm trying to think of. Uh 200% or maybe it'll be somewhere between 120 to 200 percent No no more than one uh, 200 percent It's just gonna be a flat APR. We're just going to make it stable, and then two by two, I mean, it's doing well, so, you know, I don't see anyone doing any changes to it anytime soon. Ugh, excuse me, got to make sure I burp. Uh, speaking of two by two, uh, it is at 59 to 61. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, hold on, let me uh, do my Star Wars of Galaxy of Heroes real fast. There we go. Uh, about. And uh, yeah, 59 or 61, very stable as usual. Compound coin can remain strong, 75.53 to 8600 about, right? It's Satoshi's of a dog coin. So overall, things are looking pretty good. Um, before, Because we're definitely going to read this Fed announcement because that's the most important fundamental. I just want to see what other stuff there is. Uh, 3.2 billion, he is the new rich list. 
Uh, wealthy man in Bitcoin crypto is now worth 3.2 billion. Uh, Justin Sun, something like that. Um, let's see. Chris Larson, second is on. Uh, Jihan, oh, the Bitmain founders. Really? Wow. Wow. Oh. Someday my name will be on the Forbes uh, top list, which probably means I have to stop calling them fake news. Because, I mean, on the other hand, I don't like that they write a lot of fake news either. So, uh, and it's great. Uh, Bitcoin, I'm surprised he's finally bullish on Bitcoin. This guy, the 20 of is so retarded. He, <clears throat> he's bullish when it's too late. You should have been bullish when it was at the bottom, right? When I was fucking telling everybody to buy it, like, like whatever the look. Prices were when Litecoin was at thirty-eight dollars, right? Bitcoin was, I think, was around six thousand, right? I was buying, I was fucking buying. Now my Litecoin is what up what what thirty percent or whatever. It, it's it's at least beating gold or matching gold. But it'll be way better than gold because gold's not going to go up twenty x. Litecoin most definitely likely will, right? Given enough time, so. Are you fucking kidding me? So Joe, but how does a mentally fucking unstable guy who can't even speak, speak coherent sentences like this is why I cannot stand demographic changes in America. Like, look, look at this. Look how retarded people are. Right. Because it's more poor to get rid of Donald Trump than actually elect somebody stable, which means that like all that shit that they've been talking, saying us all this time about someone being stable is a, is a lie. And I don't like liars. So Bank of America is partner, partnering with Swift and Ripple. Uh, that's not good because Bank of America is an evil piece of shit company. Right? And I have personal experience with that. Bitcoin Cash, Halving, Execute, Slash, and Crypto ahead of the... Uh, global money printing orgy ramps up. Um, yeah, that makes sense because the more money you print, the more dollars there are. So they're going to buy something. A lot of it's going to find its way into Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, Bitcoin price, Bitcoin's bull. See, here's another one. Bitcoin perfect story. <clears throat> really don't like uh, Forbes. They really hate uh, hate crypto for some reason. It's gonna be the biggest uh, ever month for the trader who called Bitcoin crash just because it looks fragile because he's retarded. Yeah, Bitcoin looks pretty fragile, right? It looks pretty fragile, doesn't it? Uh, uh, three option trade for uh, picks Bitcoin over gold. So a former hedge fund billionaire. Oh, wait, that's, oh yeah. Michael Novogratz has always been pro Bitcoin, except the one day where he decided to dump everything. <clears throat> okay, whatever. Uh, so I don't know. So Trump's dropping for some reason, even though the markets are going up. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll have to see what that's about. Uh, current, yeah, I don't care about coronavirus right now. Uh, Federal Reserve announces 2.3 trillion in funding for households, local governments. All right, let's find out what is going on. And of course, it's draining my bandwidth by auto playing everything, uh, because that's what these shitty websites always do. Right, and that's why everyone uses Google instead of Yahoo. Or yeah, but you know, Google Finance isn't really around much anymore. So, the Fed has unveiled plans to provide up to. I'm going to assume this is additional 2.3 trillion loans to support households and local governments as the economy continues to work through coronavirus disruption. Central Bank has also released details on anticipated Main Street lending program, which says it will support up to 600 billion in loans tied to small and mid-sized businesses. Similar to previously announced liquidity facilities, the Fed and the U.S. Treasury will set up a special purpose vehicle to purchase securities and assets with credit protection equity supported by uh the cares act okay the main street lending program was announced by the fed on 23rd but the central bank now says it will be able to scale up to 75 billion support from the treasury to 600 billion in four-year loans in companies hiring up to 10k workers or revenues less than 2.5 billion so they're bailing out literally everybody except like amazons but that's fine because they obviously have plenty of money um so that's good for Remmel, obviously, because they're a component based on, they definitely now qualify for those loans for sure, and they'll probably get priority. And RF also is kind of a mid-size. So yeah, this is right up their alley. Very good. 
to be through eligible banks, of course, which means big banking assholes, would allow for interest deferred payments for a year would be at least one million in size. And prime banks will retain a five percent share of the loan and sell the remaining ninety five percent to a facility to be set up by the Fed. The Fed Treasury said problem is still be fine. We'll solicit feedback from the public through April sixteenth. Of course, we're gonna have a bunch of socialist f words that will just say, "Oh, this is a bill," and then you have the boomer right wing idiots like, "This is socialism." Let's not help out anybody because, you know, we're, we're the conservatives. And they're actually fake boomer conservatives. Why does everyone hate us so much? And it's like, I just wish all these people would just go away. In addition to the main street lending crime, the Fed is also a backstop loans generated on their paycheck protection program. Fed's a third that will take the loans as collateral. If Fed's role is a private, that's relief. The only Fed's also nice will step in to help local and say governments across the grappling with the funding problems. Fed says it will support the purchase of blah, 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 blah. Fed will also expand the clear uh, corporate uh, care by increasing size primary and blah, 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 blah. Facilities will not support up to blah, blah, blah. Programs will also allow outstanding commercial mortgage backed securities and usually issue. Uh, okay, so they're going to create brand new CDOs and all this MBSs and stuff. So basically everything that Tom Barrick was kind of. Colony cap. I, I need to know what I think his name only has one R. Oh, it is two. Okay. Does he have a Twitter? Yeah, he does have a Twitter. Everyone's got a Twitter, which is why I hate having to use Twitter. Uh views expressed are here are my own. Uh has been passed. Not everyone needs to know how they implement it. Please read the my white paper on this. Everyone's doing white papers now. Okay. Uh, really end. Um, he doesn't seem to be very active here. Uh, the stalwart. What's that? Uh, well, she looks all right looking. See, these masks make women look so much more attractive, but you can't tell if they're ugly or not. But based, on, I'm gonna say based based on her physiognomy. It's supposed to be physiognomy because the G is supposed to be silent, but whatever. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think she might be attractive looking. Um, nothing new here. Hmm. But he's got to be definitely be pretty happy about this. Uh, we need a... Alright, we're going to make this... Uh, he looks a lot like George Soros, doesn't he? We're going to make this the thumbnail. Alright, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC coin. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that we can get this channel uh, to continue growing. It's going to say 486, but we don't really do too much politics. This is not our focus anymore, especially now that everyone else is doing it. And that's the other thing, too. Like, as much as I like these alternative platforms, as long as you don't talk about politics, then you really don't have too much of a problem, right? And that's kind of an issue. So, like, I'm not, I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Uh, but with that being said, I still hope, because here's the thing too, what's going to happen to the alternative platforms when Nick Fuentes and the Groypers, uh, their uprising is successful. We retake control of the government and then we start forcing, hey, you can no longer do uh, censorship or we'll put you in jail and we're going to institute, we're going to steal your billions, right? We're just going to have the IRS, we'll order, we'll order the, we'll order the IRS to just take your shit directly out of your bank account. There's nothing you can do about it, right? So like it, it, that means it's, it's kind of like what happened between Twitter and Gab, right? There's no point using Gab, right? Just use Twitter, all right? And in fact, you you could still say like all the stuff that violates the terms of service. It's just that Twitter won't ban you immediately, at least not yet, right? Because they get they get so many of them. Oh, I accidentally lowered the volume and everything. So, uh, but yeah, but yeah, is it annoying? Sure, but you know. It's like, yeah, the incentives aren't really there, which is why censorship works, unfortunately, and it's a problem. But, you know, we'll take it one day and uh, we, uh, you know, uh, it'll just be like the Christians of the past, especially during the time that Jesus was alive, that we had to deal with this shit. And then, um, yeah. Oh, also, yeah, I gotta read more about the, the uh, Christians being fed to lions during the Roman Empire, and then the Roman Empire eventually became Christian. And then they fell, of course, afterwards, uh, hundreds of years later. But I think I want to read more about something like that. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Uh, I will see you all in tomorrow's video, because it's a Friday. And then, yeah. Um, 
So I will not be doing videos anymore on the weekends. However, if something very big and newsworthy occurs or something like, you know, critical in terms of price or money, uh, well, yeah, I'll definitely do a video. But aside from that, I kind of like just take the time off now. So because now because now I'm finding that I need more I need more free time to do my coding, to do my relaxing, to do my gaming. Right. And then just, you know, start 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 creating my value. Right. Because, again, you know, networking is for losers. So, you know. Yeah, because as much as cool as it is on my Twitter to have all these cool people follow me, right? Uh, oh, I see. Right, to have all these cool people following me and shit, right? Um. Uh, yeah. Then we got Diana. Yeah, uh, Michelle Malkin, right? You know, they're not gonna be lifting my shit, right? Only I can do that, right? And then here's the Google whistleblower, who's actually pretty cool and followed me back. I don't, I don't even know when he did. And of course, we got our crux exchange here, right? Um, so, uh, what you might call it? Let's see. How actually, how is Vish been doing? He's actually very pro. Uh, I, I believe he's very pro right. Uh, well, it's definitely right wing, but very pro Groiper War, I think. Uh, I think he might succeed where Ali, Ali uh, I, should, I was supposed to not mention the fucking F word's name, but whoops. But uh, yeah, I think he'll succeed where the other asshole failed. Let's put it that way. The fake right. Um, yeah, yeah, of course, you got the guy who created uh, World of Warcraft Diablo. God, I loved those games. It's pretty cool that you know I'm following in Grums' uh, footsteps here. Yeah, your shape shift, right? As cool as it is to have all these cool people, extreme salesmen. I don't know. He doesn't come off as an asshole when he does a sales pitch. Like, not at all, right? So, I know an unplanned movie would have actually followed me back when they were doing the follow back uh, stuff, but I, it was it was before they got the whole news thing. But eh, oh well, but that's all right. And then on and on and on and on and on, right? Oh yeah, I got. Oh yeah, be careful with the uh, that because she she's a uh, porn actress. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, they have uh, Ben Garrison. He's definitely on board with the Groiper uprising for sure. Um, let's see, let's see. She actually seems pretty cool too. She's I actually know she's actually an Instagram bikini model, but she's willing to you know do whatever it takes to get more people in the Republican Party. So it makes it, it makes it be kind of hard. It makes it hard to really just hate on everybody in the Republican Party because you really do have some nice people like Andrea here. Uh, anyway, what was the point of all this? Oh, yeah. So, see, this is networking, right? But, you know, none of these people are going to help build my shit up. Just like they should not expect me to help build their shit up, right? They, we all do our own little thing. So if you have to have... Um, Networking. It's just to have friends, right? That's how I look at it. Um, Mike Sarvich does not like having friends. I do, right? That, that'll be the difference between me and him. And then other people in the fake right are kind of the same way, too. They just don't want any friends. It's like, that's such a shit way to live. Because at the end of the day, our fame, our money, our worldly goods, it's all going to be meaningless anyway, right? You know? Uh, it's going to turn to, well, it's not going to turn to dust. That's only if you do a bad job. It's going to be handed to your kids when you, like, drop dead of old age anyway. So, you know, you can't take it with you. What you did do or did not do, that you take with you when you uh, go meet Jesus Christ or God. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, that's everything, too. I was thinking about this morning but while I was lying in my bed trying to go to sleep. Uh, I'm thinking, actually, maybe you actually meet Jesus Christ. You don't actually meet God himself directly yet. So, unfortunately, I forgot the actual logical reason that I had for that. Um, but, oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, what matters is the here and now. We'll get more about the other stuff later. See you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and, uh, hmm. Excuse me, gotta make sure I burp. All right, because again, I don't want an hour of damn hiccups. And uh, yeah, here's our thumbnail. But yeah, things are looking fantastic. Considering how oh, I did. I need to mention this quick. Considering how off, how fast everything's been going up, I do expect some kind of down day anytime soon, right? Because you know, you don't go straight up or go straight down. There's always some kind of bounce, right? Dead cat bounce or bull market trap, they call it or whatever. I don't know what the uh, opposite of the uh, dead cat bounce is. 
but we'll call it a dead cat sky or something <laughs> or something all right so it's it's very fractal all right so well that being said i'm not worried everything's going back to normal we're making money i'm making money again thank god and um you know when, once once america starts formally reopening even partially right and there's formal announcements for it yeah, game over. It's back to life as normal. And thank God. Also, it's getting warmer too, so 